Hello, this is simply about networking protocols and today I'll tell you about PFC, pause frames. Pause functionality as almost all flow control functionality is described in standard IEEE.3. I'm using version of 2012. General pause, pause per port is described in Annex 31B. Uh, priority based pause is described in Annex 31D. What is pause frame, pause protocol, and why we need it? So let's imagine that we have some device and we have a stream and traffic that passes this device through. Uh, so on some ingress to some egress port. And egress port handles this stream because it's pretty small. For some reason, the, uh, we start increasing the stream that needs to egress our device from this particular egress port. Until some point, exactly till this stream is less or equal of physical capability of this port, uh, maximum rate that it can transmit in current mode, everything is fine. But at some point, we can get into a situation that we are trying to egress from the device, send into egress through, uh, th from the device to some specific port, more traffic that is uh, rate of the current rate of this egress port right now bigger. This situation called congestion, uh, saying that we are trying to send more than we can send physically, actually, right now. There are many uh, methods how to handle this situation. Many of those methods are related to uh, dropping unlucky packets. So if packet doesn't fit, we are dropping it. And in this way, we are proceeding. But this is pretty not not accurate, I would say, idea. There are better ways. And one of these ways is to use pause frames, pause protocols. When congestion appears, system immediately generates and send to all neighbors pause frames saying, please, uh, well, generally pause frame says, please be quiet for some period of time. But we will call it, please reduce the, uh, the traffic. <clears throat> Imagine we have our device with congestion on the port, on a grass port. We are sending those post frames to our neighbors saying, please reduce the traffic. Most of the device doesn't have mechanism how to reduce it. Or this mechanism is primitive and cannot handle everything. So. In this case, if device knows how to reduce uh, the traffic according to our request, to, it means it will handle all the traffic with pausing uh, using our requests, it will do it. If not, like all those intermediate device, it will receive our pause frame, will understand that there is a trouble and start generating its own pause frame to all the neighbors saying, please don't Please reduce the traffic. Please keep quiet for some time. When pause frames <coughs> reaches devices that know how to handle the traffic, for example, this is traffic source, that could reduce the rate at some point, then everything is fine, uh, rate is being reduced, congestion is removed, and we again can handle all the traffic that gets to our egress port without drops, losses, and so on. Most vendors allow to configure pause uh, in two steps, receive and transmit, RX separately, TX separately. When RX is configured on some port, and we are receiving pause frame on this port, system understood that something happens behind this port and we need either to reduce the stream or if we cannot do it for any reason we need to notify all our neighbors se sending them our pause frames from ports that are configured to transmit they are allowed to transmit pause frame pause frame is not being flooded is not being forwarded uh, it's peer-to-peer -peer generally system takes it and generates on every uh, port on every stage every device generate its own pause frame it means source mark 
in those frames will be the MAC of the interface that uh, identifies this particular device. It not being forwarded. So, when post frame is received on the port that is not configured to receive them, nothing happens. System ignores them. And Eric, when Eric stakes are configured on some port, when we're receiving traffic there, when we're receiving post frames there, we accepting them trying to protect them and reacting somehow. For example, we are generating our own post frames and sending them from all ports that are configured as TX, TX enabled, except one where we received it because they're generally a problem and sending there didn't help us, uh, will not help us anyways. After traffic is reduced and again uh, we are trying to send now we're trying to send uh, less or equal to the volume that port can handle everything is handles no drops no losses everybody happy this is much more gentle way to process congestion and resolve it well <clears throat> uh, how operations done on the devices that could somehow handle our post request Imagine we have a device that could handle it and could shape our traffic. There is a traffic, it means stream of packets that are being aggressed from the port. On this aggress port, we are receiving post frame. So we are receiving post frame on the port where we are aggressing the traffic toward the destination. Okay, we are receiving post frame. Flag is up that we need to be quiet sometime it means that we should not send uh, new packets from this port for some time out all packets that were in transmit procedure uh, successfully finish their transmission and being transmit new packets are not accepted to transmit phase and waiting in the buffer for time out <clears throat> when timeout is done, we start transmit again, and it means that reducing the traffic, actually, this is increasing the <clears throat> interpacket gap that we have between the packets. That simple. Uh, this mechanism was uh, updated to become more more intelligent, more selective. Uh, more accurate by priority based post frame as you know <clears throat> or if you don't know let me know in comments i could make a video uh, talking about aggress procedures on the port whatever on the port usually we have eight queues to aggress <clears throat> those queues can be mapped uh, with some priorities well again from zero to seven eight priorities and system selects uh, packets from those queues to be uh, lined up and aggressed as one stream then pause can send priority based flow control where i can say that for specific priority please keep quiet for some time and per priority that means per queue that is mapped with this priority. The same mechanism applied that with port uh, that was described for the port. For each queue that received the message that please be quiet. Again, this is priority based. We're receiving per priority, but each queue is mapped to some specific priority. Thus, it means some queues will be stopped. This is how it works. So for each queue that needs to be quiet for some time, flag is raised. All packets that were in transmission procedure, finishing this procedure and transmit. And new packets are not applied for this particular queue is not applied, are new, not applied to the transmit for some period of time. 
why this is more flexible and more intelligent because we can specify priorities and means cues that should not be affected for example those are cues with most important traffic and we don't don't want to interrupt it in any uh, in any way and for all other cues there are, can be different times for waiting and cues for with lowest priority can wait longer than than cues with intermediate priority let's say they could start transmitting earlier than most 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 not important streams and cues this is how works priority based flow control and to configure that and to notify neighbor devices most important values in the pause frame are the following so besides the frame fields that identify pause frame pause general it means per port pause contains time quanta quanta period <coughs> in documentation this is quanta period this particularly uh, used to calculate how long a port should not transmit new frames how long it sh uh, should stay silent for priority based frame we have following fields priority is bit vector where uh, this is a byte where each bit uh, mapped to some priority and one bit bit equals one means that time should be applied zero means time should not be applied and we have times for each priority eight eight times eight, eight quantas and for each priority and for each queue own period of time will be calculated coefficient coefficient is dependent on maximum line rate that this port supports in current operation for one gig it will be one coefficient for 40 gig it will be a different coefficient those are described in the specifications so when you're working with specific uh, systems with specific ports that working in specific line rate mode you're using those coefficients that simple thank you have a great day